Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Freshworks through Zapier. First of all, what we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, freshworks.com and uh, as you can see, uh, this is uh, the home, the dashboard of, uh, of Freshworks. You can go and try uh, integrations on your own by going at freshworks.com and uh, go to platform and marketplace and uh, scroll down to the CRM sales and marketing. As you can see, there's a couple of inter integrations you can pick from. And when you scroll down, there's a Freshworks uh, CRM. There are already some pre-made ones, like for example, Zapier, as you can see. And when you're done that, just uh, visit site to install the Zapier. Uh, the other way around, uh, we can go straight to zapier.com. As you can see, uh, we also need to create an account here. And once we are at the dashboard, we want to go to the top left corner and we uh, want to click on make a Zap. So we click on make a Zap. Uh, we can name our Zap right now. Uh, so let's go with uh, Freshworks to, well, let's say whatever. In this case, uh, you can basically uh, put in this column, basically whatever you want to like, Jira, uh, Salesforce, LinkedIn, really uh, whatever you feel like. How are we going to make the integration work? Underneath the trigger, the step number one, we want to use the app that we are going to start the integration with. In our case, it's uh, Freshworks. Uh, Freshworks CRM, to be specific. Now we have to uh, choose a triggering event, a new contact, new account, or new deal. So let's go with the first one, continue. Now uh, we have to uh, now we have to log in with the account that we created before. We hit continue. Uh, we have to filter the name. Let's go with the first one, my contacts. And we click on continue. Uh, now you can uh, test your trigger. On the action number two, uh, we want to uh, pick the application that's going to be affected by this trigger. So let's go with, for example, I don't know, Notion. Let's go with Notion. Uh, we pick an event, create a database item, we press continue, and now we just log in with our account and we are a few clicks away from making this integration happen. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.